All right, so in order to use Snapchat ads, uh, make sure you go to ads.snapchat.com. And then what you want to do is you can kind of see once you log in, you create an account, and you upload your payment information. Um, the next thing you want to do is um, you'll see up here the dashboard kind of gives you an overall performance. You know, so your CPMs and your impressions and your website clicks, which are called swipe ups. Um, and then on the top left, you'll see manage ads. So if you click this, you'll see different options, your ad accounts, who's on your ad accounts, your billing and payments, and how to manage your ads, a snap pixels. Okay, so this is something you'll want to make sure you put on your website. So if you click snap pixel, you'll want to, when you open it up, you'll want to go ahead and click set up pixel, and you'll want to put this code on your website. If you do not know um, how to do code, just copy this code and send it to your website developer. Um, you can find people that can help you out, um, you know, on websites like fiverr.com. So um, that's how you set up your pixel. So make sure you do that and then make sure you get all your accounts set up correctly. And then when you want to create an ad, just go to create an ad. And then you have the option instant create or advanced. I typically like to go advanced because if I want to target custom audiences or things like that, um, you know, I can. So I'll click that. All right, and then this is just where you select your objective. So whatever your objective is. So let's say your objective is to uh, get video views. Then you'll click that. And then you'll name your campaign. So we'll call it test. Um, we'll start immediately. We'll run indefinitely. Um, so that just means every day you're going to spend a certain amount. And then go ahead and click next. And then you're going to go to your ad set details, which basically means your audience. All right, so you'll name that audience, so test audience. And this is just for your reference so you know which audience it is. Um, then when you scroll down, you'll choose your ad format, whether you want it to be an image or video or a commercial. That's like six sec seconds long, kind of like a bumper ad on uh, YouTube. And then you'll click, you know, what type of attachment do you want? So you can do website. Let's call it that. So we're going to send people there. Your placements, just click automatic placements. Uh, then here's your location. So you've got the United States. If you want to go by state or, or zip codes or location areas, you can. Um, and then if you want to uh, click, this is an interesting category. So if you go to locations category, you can choose people that have been to these locations. Um, and Snapchat's probably tracking you based on the data off your phone. All right. so. Let's just say we want to target Alabama. So what you'll see on the right-hand side is our estimated monthly reach. Um, so then what you'll do is you'll scroll down. You'll go to your, your ages. This is where you choose what ages, genders you want, what language they speak, and advanced demographics. So if you want to target income or moms or you know education, homeowner status, you can. And then scroll down. You'll go to the actual audiences, and you can also choose um, predefined audiences like affinity people. So let's say we choose adventure seekers in Alabama. You'll see there's 660,000, 690,000 people that we could reach. Then if you scroll down, if you want to um, have a custom audience, this is how you include or exclude them. Custom audience is an audience that you've used based on traffic on your website or how they interacted on your page. So you would upload your list, and then you can choose the list and, and target them. Uh, for now, we're going to just keep that blank. And then here's your devices if you want to target different devices or connections. And then here at delivery, this is where you set your budget. So let's say we want to set the budget at $20 a day. We go ahead and we click $20 a day, daily budget. Um, your goal, you can choose 15 or 2 second views. And then I typically start with auto bid until you kind of know more about what you're doing. And then from there, you're going to click next. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and design your ad. So we'll just call it test, um, test brand. Then you'll put your headline, watch this video. Now, obviously you want to put things that are, um, that make sense for your business. Uh, then you'll scroll down. And then this is just where you pick your media. So we have a piece of media that's already uploaded in there, so we would choose that. 
attachment is website. Then we've got call to action. So you can choose one of these call to action. So let's just say book now. Then you'll put your website in here. Okay. And then from there, you'll go ahead and scroll down. Make sure everything is set up correctly here. If you want extra tagging, you can do that here. Then click next. Oop. And then what you'll want to do here is you will have, um, this is basically just showing you everything that you're going to do, what you're going to spend, etc., etc. And then obviously here it's just saying we're getting some invalid ads just because of the, uh, the type of ad that we're putting in there. It's just test. But you get the idea. That's where you put your creatives in and you choose, um, you know, you format your creatives based on what Snapchat recommends. And then once you're done, you just click publish campaign and you're all set. So that's how you create uh, Snapchat ads. Uh, get creative with it. You can target all different types of people. It's got a lot of data. Um, I would start with making sure that you put your pixel on your website so that you can track activity. And then if you want to create your audiences, once those pixels are set up, then you go here, create audience, and then this is where you create your custom lookalike or saved audiences. And basically, you know, those are just audiences that are based off of activity on your website or saved audiences, a saved audience that you have that you want to reuse based off of uh, information that you've saved as far as an audience. So if you ever have any questions, uh, make sure to uh, reach out to me. Hope you enjoyed the video.